Welcome to this episode of Bidjet TV, where today we're going to talk about the single pilot jets taking centre stage at the MBAA BACA conference in Las Vegas. Uh, this is really, really interesting. So we're going to talk about the four aircraft uh, in particular that have been taking centre stage uh, in this video. The Honda Jet Echelon, the Textron Citation CJ3, the Pilatus PC24 and the Fina 100EX. So we'll get into each one of these aircraft, we'll show you some footage of them and that. And... Uh, I'll give you my take on that. But before we start, subscribe to Business TV if you haven't done so already. Um, lots of content here on business aviation and also get yourself a copy of The Quantum Economy, my latest book. Lots of information here about the business of the future. And if you're thinking of buying a private jet, which is probably why you landed here on this video, you need to get yourself a copy of this book because this will show you why you need a private jet, where the economy is going, how you can join the quantum economy by using a private jet to build your business. So don't think about, you know, so much the costs and everything, but think about the opportunities. Uh, and this is what this book will show you is the opportunities. And there's stories in here of a number of uh, entrepreneurs that built their businesses using the private jet. One of them being Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart. Yes, that's the private jets played a key role. And I tell this story in here and you can also read about that story in Sam Walton's biography. But anyway, enough about my book, enough about the intro here. Let's get into these four airplanes. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Honda Jet Echelon. Now, um, we have previously talked about this before uh, when Honda um, put a mock-up of the what they called the Honda 2600 um, at uh, the NBA a couple of years ago, just to sort of test the market. It was a concept airplane and they wanted to, you know, get some feedback and see if there was a market for it. And they have received 350 letters of intent to, to um, you know, book the aircraft. So there, there is a market for it. Um, so what Honda have done, um, this is an interesting airplane. It's just a little bit longer, wider and higher cabin than the Honda Jet. And the Honda Jet Echelon also increased the range to 2,650 nautical miles. So allows you to fly LA, Miami, coast to coast, and even do transatlantic to London from New York. Um, but the interesting thing about it is the Garmin 3000 avionics, the ultra throttle, but also the common type rating with the Honda Jet. So we're just a differences training. You can go from, you know, taking your Honda Jet type rating to the Honda Jet Echelon uh, with just a couple of, couple of days training. So this is going to be interesting. It's also going to be certified single pilot. So it's going to be the single pilot aircraft with the longest range. And I think this is, you know, it's ahead of the competition and the other airplanes we'll be talking about shortly. Uh, the fact that this is going to have 2,600 uh, nautical mile range. Now, um, the prototype will start flying in 2026 and um, certification is and deliveries well, sorry certification 2026 delivery 2028 um so that's what they're projecting right now um i think this airplane has a lot of legs and and i think you know a lot of people will, will look at it in particular now interesting fact is you know with these four single pilot airplanes taking center stage the single pilot aircraft is very much uh, something that's coming uh, onto the market more and more and as they say, you know, you have the, the AI, which is going to be your co-pilot. And I think this is where we're going with private aviation. And I think this is where we will end up also with the airlines, with the, the single pilot <coughs> aircraft, with a form of AI or a robot acting as the co-pilot. Just interrupting the video very briefly, because here on BizJet TV, we're giving out lots of free general information about private jets and the private jet world. But if you are really contemplating buying a private jet, let's help you to make that decision in the best informed way by getting very specific, specific to your case. And to do that, just ping me an email and we will schedule you in for a one-to-one -one call and help come up with the right strategy so that you, your team, your family can start joining that quantum economy. So ping me an email, let's get on a call. Let's get back to the video, off we go. Now, the second airplane is the Cessna Citation CJ3 Gen 2 built by Textron Aviation, as it's called now. Um, this is introducing a uh, ultra throttle system, the Garmin 3000, and also uh, more legroom for the pilots and a lot of connectivity in the back there for the passengers, and also a flush toilet, uh, which is uh, which is a, a, a nice addition to this, um, which I think you know a lot of people have been looking at, and also you know with all the Wi-Fi system built on board as well because people want connectivity. The range on this airplane is 2,000 nautical miles. Uh, price tag. $10.99 million uh, for this one, brand new. So that's an interesting one uh -huh. here by Textron. The next one is the Pilatus PC24. Uh, they've gone and talked to customers and they've changed the cabin. Um, they've managed to add an extra 200 nautical mile range to the airplane. Um, cabin now, you can buy it 
with a layout with a with a divan. This is what the uh, customers have asked Pilatus to do. So they've listened. And here in this footage, you can see the PC24 land on a road in Australia. This is the versatility of this jet. The cargo door makes it very unique, and the fact that it can land on unpaved runways. So this is a uniqueness that this airplane has built into it compared to the competition. Price tag on this is just over eleven million dollars. Um, the kind of limitation on this one is they only build 84 a year and they build them in Switzerland and Switzerland only. Um, so that's kind of the limitation there. I'd, I'd really like to see Pilatus build their airplanes in the United States. I think they would they would probably sell uh, or manage to build three to four hundred a year and sell them because uh, the US market is, is big for this. And also South America um, has a need for this kind of airplane landing on unpaved runways as well as Africa and Australia, as you, you saw in the footage. Next airplane is the Fina 100 EX. Um, here we've got a roomier cabin uh, on this new uh, version of the Phenom 100 uh, roomier cabin, uh, which is which is good. Uh, price tag on this is 4.995 million dollars on this one, so that's interesting. Now I didn't give you a price tag on the Honda Jet Echelon uh, because there isn't one at the moment, or at least Honda haven't announced the price. I'm thinking it's probably around the 12 million dollar mark. Um, and I think that would be a, a good price to make this really, really competitive. Uh, 12 million, you know, whether Honda decide to price it higher or lower, I don't know. But, you know, my my recommendation would be 12 million dollars on, on this particular aircraft. So, um, you know, these four aircraft are interesting. As I've discussed before here on Budget TV, we're seeing more and more people learning to fly as a result of COVID. And as they're learning to fly and they're, they're starting off with, you know, small aircraft, gaining experience, um, and then move on to a pop and then maybe straight a jet uh, because these entrepreneurs want to get round and they want to fly and flying themselves, you know, sorts out the problem of pilot shortage. Um, they can basically wake up in the morning in Houston and say, you know what, let's go and visit uh, my, my customer or my client or potential customer in Austin today. We'll just go this morning, call him up, go to the airport, jump in your jet and off you go. Um, it's a bit like having a car on the driveway. So, you know, these aeroplanes, because of the technology built into them, it's making it easier to fly uh, than before. But, you know, as I always say, uh, you know, it's very important that if you're going into pilot training, <clears throat> that you get continuous training. I mean, you are not a professional pilot. You want to train yourself and have a standard of a professional pilot. So having a, a professional pilot fly with you, not maybe on every flight, but, you know, from time to time coaching you, I think is really, really important to improve your performance um, because, you know, you can get yourself into two and eight with, with aircraft. These things are flying through the air fast and your brain needs to be there. And you need to be focused on the flight and not be thinking about the deal you're about to go and do. So this is why I always recommend, you know, if you are going to fly single pilot, take another pilot along with you from time to time, an experienced one, or maybe bring a young guy that's, you know, a flight instructor at the local flight school to come and man the radios and read the checklist for you. I mean, that will help, especially if you get yourself into a situation, an emergency situ situ situation, having another um, person in the cockpit can help um, at least, you know, do the radios and read the checklist for you while you, you know, focus on bringing the aircraft down safely. Just interrupting the video very briefly because here on Bizjet TV we're giving out lots of free general information about private jets and the private jet world. But if you are really contemplating buying a private jet, let's help you to make that decision in the best informed way by getting very specific, specific to your case. And to do that, just ping me an email and we will schedule you in for a one-to-one -one call and help come up with the right strategy so that you, your team, your family can start joining that quantum economy. So ping me an email, let's get on a call. Let's get back to the video, off we go. Thank you. So that's um, interesting. Uh, these four airplanes taking center stage at NBAA this week in Las Vegas. So uh, hope you enjoyed this episode of Bidget TV. Subscribe to Bidget TV. Give us a thumbs up on this video. Share this video with friends and family, co-workers and that. Let's get the word out there about Bidget TV. And you can subscribe also to Biz Aviation World, which is the newsletter on the link below. And also grab yourself a copy of The Quantum Economy if you haven't done so already. And check this other video, which I'm sure you'll enjoy, about buying a Honda Jet with Bitcoin. We interviewed this owner and how he started off with Bitcoin and turned the Bitcoin into the money he needed to buy his Honda jet. And that's all from Fabrizio Poli here on Budget TV, and I'll see you in the next one.